The grand meeting to mark the 60th anniversary of the Lao Federation of Trade Unions establishment from February 1, 1956 to February 1, 2016, was held on Monday, the 1st of February, at the National Cultural Hall in Vientiane, bringing together thousands of trade union members, domestic and foreign guests. <laughs> In his remark, President of the Lao Federation of Trade Union, Mr. Pa Noimani, highlighted the LFTU's history and tradition in contributing the country's development and protection task following the nation's liberation and proclamation on December 2, 1975. <laughs> According to him, the LFTU was established on February 1, 1956, in the revolutionary stronghold of Huo Pan Province, under the guidance of Mr. Nu Hak Pum Savan to help train workers and laborers for the revolution and represent the working class. <laughs> Throughout 60 years, Lao workers and laborers under the guidance of the LFTUs have developed and enhanced their political attributes discipline in the workplace, and obtain bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degrees. Some laborers have become technicians, researchers, engineers, technical staff, business people, and outstanding operators in each sector, while some were titled as professors and associate professors. Lao workers and laborers have constantly developed their labor skills along with the development of the country in each period, and they have always shown high responsibility in their duties. Therefore, they gain the confidence of party and state organizations, civil society organizations, domestic and foreign investors. Some trade union members, workers, and laborers were elected and assigned to significant party and state positions from the central to the local level, and some have become outstanding managers at factories and companies. <laughs> Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Education and Sports, Mr. Pankamvi Pavan, said the Lao Federation of Trade Unions, or LFTU, should continue to protect the legitimate rights and interests of its members and construct skilled workers and laborers to be a strategic force and be able to integrate. Mr. Pankam advised that the LFTU should pay more attention to propagate their role to workers and laborers, bring the trade union into production units, and encourage employers and employees to have contracts signed to ensure fairness between the two parties. Most importantly, all workers and laborers must dare to think and do the right thing and they must be diligent, disciplined in the workplace, and thrifty. It is disclosed that because of the outstanding outcomes over the past years, the LFTU was awarded an Isla Order Class 1, a Labor Order Class 1, a Labor Order Class 2, a Labor Order Class 3, a Labor Medal Class 1, and some government certificates of congratulations. On the 60th anniversary of the LFTU's establishment, the Lao government agreed to present a national gold order to the Federation. On the day, there was also a trade fair at Lao iTech from January 26 to February 3rd, which each sector bringing their products to exhibit and sell. There was also a fashion show featuring models wearing the uniforms of ministries, organizations, companies, and factories at Lao iTech. <laughs> 